Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I flipped my iPhone around this time, so I'm not looking at myself. I'm looking at you guys, which is a little bit strange. I hear little footsteps coming up the stairs. Anyways, I was just talking to my daughter Kennedy, so sorry if I suck at editing or something. And you noticed that. Um, I'm just using the Burt's Bees facial towels to get the, the residual makeup off my face from my shower this morning. First things first, primer, poreless, poreless body primer. I just grab a, a little bit on my T-zone. And my chin. And my forehead. So what are you guys doing? I hope you guys like watch this. Not my 5th and 6th graders. Because I know my 5th and 6th graders are watching this at play practice on their breaks. Miss, Miss Powers told me guys. I know. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> but my other viewers out there, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing when you're watching this? Are you watching it and getting ready also? Are you watching it at a doctor's appointment, wasting time? I don't know. What are you doing? Ooh, I'm getting low on this. I've never gone through an entire thing of foundation before. That's how you know I like it. That's never happened. That's cool. I'm collecting all of my empties, so stay tuned for an empties video. When this little bag over here, when this little bag over here that I have is full, I'll do an empties video. Um, so that'll be fun. The kids were like up super early this morning. They were up. Kai Kai came into my bed around like four. And then he fell asleep. And I didn't have the heart to pick him up and move him back to his bed. So he stayed there until like 4.30 when I was in the shower. He, he woke up and then, oh, it was like 5.15. Kennedy woke up around 5.30 and Scarlett woke up around... 545. I like how they're always like 15 minute intervals. Like just barely, barely separated, you know. Here come the kitties. This is Blizzard. Come here. Blizzard. She has double paws. Look at how huge her paws are. Look at that. Ugh, I love her. She's so sassy. And she has the best hiding spots. She can hide for like two weeks at a time and I'd never know where she is. And they don't go outside. They're only in the house. Treasure, honey. We go through this every day. You can't climb the heating vent. No. No, treasure. I tell him this. I tell her this all the time, but she don't listen to me. She has a brain injury, so she probably doesn't even remember that. I told her that yesterday. I wonder how good her memory is. Like, since that happened. If you don't know, she was, I want to say eight weeks old and she got um, attacked by a dog. We had had her for two weeks. Um, and the, the doggy picked her up and threw her across our dining room. It was quite scary and traumatic. Oh, there it is. My makeup brush that I just dropped on the floor apparently. Yeah, so that's like a much more in-depth story to that, but she's a she's an incredible trooper. That one, she's my baby's my baby treasure powder brush. 
Anybody know a better powder brush than this one? Still haven't had any recommendations. So if you have a recommendation for a powder brush that's better than the Sonia Castric number 130, you gotta tell me. Leave it in the description. I mean, comments, not description. This is totally not gonna be five minutes, but I tried. Maybe if I like, stopped getting interrupted and stopped having to leave it would be five minutes but that never happens because I'm a mom and I always have to leave I always have to stop and I always have to um do like five things at once and you know what I love it I would never want it any other way I'm just gonna take my um setting brush it's actually called the real technique setting brush oh look at that i never noticed that that's cool it is actually meant for setting under your eyes it's not just a brush i'm measuring for something different like i use with all my other brushes miss kennedy is back Hello. yes This one's for you. <gasps> this one's for me? My kitty one. Look at my beautiful picture, guys. It's a kitty? Mm -hmm. She made me a kitty. Isn't it so pretty? I love it. Thank That's you for my kitty. My kitty. And this one's your kitty? Mm -hmm. Can I show them your kitty, too? <gasps> this is her kitty. So cute, right? Hi, Mama. Hi, kitty. Can you take my kitty and put it on the counter so it can dry? Yeah. Thank you. Remember those bingo daubers? Um, you younger kids probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But back in the day when you could go up, like to a bingo hall, I think there's still some bingo halls around, but it, they're not popular like they used to be. But when I was a kid, my mom used to love to go to bingo halls. And we used to have these daubers, like the bingo daubers, all over our house and I used to make pictures with them um and I just loved them so that when the kids when the kids got older I was like oh we have to get bingo daubers and my husband was like why are we gonna get bingo daubers we don't play bingo and it's like because they're good to paint with <laughs> he thought I was crazy but they love it and it totally works I'm going in with cover fx Perfecting Face Palette. It's the one I showed you. It's my favorite. It's still dark out. So what are you guys' plans for the holidays? Do you guys do anything special? Is there like a tradition that you and your family do? I'm going to be Elsa Christmas. You're going to be Elsa for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, like, traditions for Christmas Eve or getting your tree or maybe you're not um, in the Christmas religion. What am I trying to say? Christian <laughs> or um, Catholic and you don't celebrate Christmas. So what do you celebrate? Do you celebrate Hanukkah or Kwanzaa? That would be cool. I've never, I don't know anything about those holidays, but I would love to learn about them. That would be interesting. We celebrate Christmas, and this was our first year with the fake Christmas tree. I told you that. It's beautiful. I love our Christmas tree. I'm so happy that we ended up getting a fake one this year. Um, and then for Christmas Eve, this is actually our first Christmas where Travis and I have decided that we're not going anywhere for Christmas. We're staying here. Um, and we're going to invite, we're inviting our whole families to the house and we're gonna do homemade pizzas and that's something that his dad um always did with him and his brothers and sisters when from when they were younger to this day like last year we still went to his dad's house on christmas eve and had homemade pizzas it's amazing um and then we used to go to my grandparents house um for christmas also but it's just getting so much to go to his dad's house and my grandparents house and my aunt's house and my grand 
grandpa's house on my dad's side, like my meme's house, and then also my dad's house. Like there's just so many houses that we have to like hit or go to or people that they expect to see us on the, those holidays that were, we've just decided with the three kiddos and they're so close together. They're, they're, you know, three under three. So five, four and three years old at the moment. Um, and it's just too much to chug them through the snow on the holiday when it's supposed to be fun, especially for kids. So we're just staying home this year. And we're telling everybody, if you want to see us, you got to come to us. And so far, nobody's really complaining. That's not true. A lot of people are complaining. But I just, I guess I'm not listening to the complaints. You can complain all you want to. I'm just not hearing you. Because for my family, this is what we need to do. And this is how, this is just how it is going to be. If, I'm sorry, but if you don't like it, then tough luck, man. I'm sure that you guys all had that moment in time where you've come to the point in your life where you don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to travel on the holidays anymore. And you don't want to make your kids do it. I mean, there's always a point where you have to stop, right? This is our point. We have to stop. <laughs> you can come here. Our house is plenty big enough for our entire family to come and hang out for the day. Um, we don't have guest rooms or anything like that, but we have a giant living room, so it's plenty of space. Uh, and then on, I don't know if he's still going to do this, but on Christmas Eve, Travis's brother used to sleep over and so that he would be here in the morning for Christmas Day when the kids wake up and we go downstairs and do like Santa presents and everything. Uh, so I don't know if Brian's gonna sleep over again, um, this year. I'm fine if he does, it doesn't matter to me. That's up to the boys to decide. Mom, here! I put it on my desk right here, okay? Mine is a ducky. Yours is a ducky now? No. Okay. So that was my whole face. Now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow, and I'm still using the same cover fx perfecting face palette and i'm gonna use the contour shade as my crease or transition oh th no thank you kennedy okay. can i just shut the lights off on us <laughs> So do you guys, when you, when you do your eye makeup, do you do all of one eye and then go in and repeat on the other? Or do you do like I do, like one shade, one shade, lid shade, lid shade, sparkle, sparkle? What do you do? I have to do them like simultaneously or it messes me up and I forget the steps that I do. And if you don't do one of the steps on both eyes... It always looks wrong. Like it never ends up looking the way you want it to. Or the way I want it to, I should say. When I do all of one and all of the other. It never comes out right. I'm going to go back in with the Romantic Rose from Milani. And I'm going to put this all over my lids. Um, and it, it's not really going to show up that much, but it will. It will and it won't. Does that make sense? Like, I can barely see it on my eyelids, but it's a good base for the next shade that I'm going to put on the top of it. It just a little bit of um, pigment and color uh, to the lids before I go in with the pink highlighter. And the pink highlighter is called Divine. So I used this highlighter on... No, wait. Yeah, I used this highlighter, Starlight, on my face. Let me see that. Super shiny. And then I'm going to go in with this one. Super 
and inside the inner corner I'm gonna use the brightener in this palette also um, and I'm just gonna put that on the inner corners to make those pop Okay, and go back in with my blender and just a couple of sweeps to make sure. And then this is a little, a little brightener. It's called Moon Moonbeam, Moonbeam brightener. Pretty. Uh, I don't know what just happened. I don't know if like the cat shook next to me or something, but like a whole bunch of cat hair just like flew everywhere and I could, I could feel it. I could feel it on my face. I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's almost done. And then I'm going to go back in one last time to this palette and I'm going to use the finishing powder. So I've used almost every shade in this palette except for the blush, and I just didn't use the blush today because it's winter time, and this blush is super pink. So I like it during um, the summer because it's like real pink. I like the mauvey kind of dusty ones during the, the winter. And then, so I'm just using that finishing powder underneath the eyes, and I like it because it has this ever so slight glimmer of like sparkle in it and it, it just makes under your eyes look so like nice i don't know i don't have another word number for that seven. so number seven let's talk about it for a minute i've been using it since my target haul so saturday sunday Five, four days, four days so far. This will be the fourth time I use it. I kind of like it. Um, it does collect in the inner corner, which I'm not a fan of, but it's not anything like awful. Like it's not like the worst. It's not running down my face. It's not collecting so much in the inner corner that like it looks goopy or gross. Um, and you know, usually you just like touch real quick and then the goop is gone I don't want to say goop that's an awful word that sounds bad but like the blackness of the inner corner from it like just I guess gliding like it smooths out as the day goes on which is nice it's still black when I get home but because it smooths out it makes the inner corner a little bit extra black um it goes on really nicely it goes on really smooth it doesn't run down my face like I had mentioned I remember being in high school and my thing in high school was like so I wore super super black eyeliner and super black eyelashes and like that's it like the heavier the eyeliner and the heavier my eyelashes were the better I was maybe I should do a throwback high school makeup look for you guys that might be fun <laughs> um, yeah but I remember going through the drugstore being like I need an eyeliner that's not gonna run down my face because it's June and it's 97 degrees outside and I go to Dover High School where my math class has no windows and by the end of the day the classroom is 120 degrees and my eyeliner is down to my cheeks so I remember going on that hunt. I wish I filmed it. Like, I wish back then I knew what I knew now. Does that make sense? Like, if I had filmed all of that back then, I would have been helping so many people that were also looking for eyeliner not rubbing down their face. I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't know that other people were having the same struggle I was. I guess that's a little self-centered of me back in the day, huh? But, I mean, what can I say? I was a 16-year-old girl. <laughs> this is just brown. come up now. 
Do you see how beautiful it is outside? We got one or two inches last night over um, the night and everything is just perfectly blanketed right now in that white snow. Um, I don't know if I was telling, I don't know if I was telling somebody at, at work this story or if it was telling you guys the story, but the other day I was out, it was like Sunday, I think I was outside and I was putting the, I was playing with the chickens and I, so I have six chickens. I could find five of my chickens and I couldn't find one of them. It was MJ. She was missing and I could hear, like I was saying for the fifth time, um, I could hear MJ clucking and I couldn't find her. So I finally noticed that she was inside one of the kids' little like plastic step two playhouses. And um, she found an, a patch of dirt, the only patch of dirt that was uncovered in the whole yard. <gasps> I just hit the yeah, so she found the only patch of dirt that was uncovered in our yard, and she was just playing around in there. So I went over to like go pet her, and she perched down and she let me pet her, and um, she went back to playing. And like I kept going out every so often, like every twenty minutes or so, and checking on her because I was like, well, maybe she's stuck. Maybe she can't figure out how to get out of the stupid playhouse that she got herself into. No, nope, she was just playing by herself for two hours in the playhouse and didn't want the other chicken to know where she was. So like two hours go by and she goes to back to the coop where the other chickens are. And all of a sudden I hear the chickens like freaking out. Like they must've seen her and been like, Oh my God, it's okay guys. She's not dead. It's fine. She's back. It's okay. She's not dead. <laughs> like seriously guys, it's okay. But they were like, they were about to, I thought somebody, I thought there was a raccoon in the chicken coop again because of how much commotion that they were making. It was ridiculous. Um, but it was pretty funny. I think she's hiding out. I think she's like, you can't know my secret hideout place. This is my place to play and you can't have it. What it is, is the, the uncovered dirt is so cold and like sandy that they they like dust baths dust baths that's a hard phrase to say um so they like dust baths and because it's winter all of the dust is, is basically gone and they well not they i shouldn't say they mj apparently prefers to find her own dust than to use the dust that mom gives her so do I want to do a bold lip? Should be red. For Christmas? Is that too much for school? This would be too much for school, definitely. Hot pink. Maybe I'll wear this on Wacky Day. Next week is Spirit Week. Monday's Wacky Day. Tuesday's Winter Wonderland Day. Wednesday. I'm so excited for Wednesday, guys. It's Fancy Dress Up Day. Yes, I said it. Fancy Dress Up Day. Not like fancy dress up like downstairs in your dress up bin spider-man no like prom dresses well at least that's what i'm taking away from it i mean i do work in an elementary school so the chances of those kiddos having actual prom dresses are slim to none but mrs smith saved all of her prom dresses yeah that's right look where i did mm -hmm. i saved mm, both my prom dress and my senior banquet dress and my wedding dress I don't think I'll wear my wedding dress to school. However, my prom dress, most definitely. I still have to dig it out of my garage, though. It's okay. I'll get it. All right. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, we can just take it off. This is like true Drew Barrymore red because it's from Flower and she created it. Um, yeah, Flower Beauty Crimson Touch. Okay. All right, so what do we think? Do we like this lip color? It's a pretty bold lip for school, but 
What the heck, right? It's Christmas time. And I kind of like it. Like, the rest of my makeup look is so light and, like, gentle that this lip looks kind of really good with it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna rock the bold lip at school, guys. I'm kind of excited. I've always wanted to wear a red lip out. So, what do we think of the completed look? I think I'm gonna wear my um, holiday Christmas sweater with it. Hold on. Santa's favorite, like always. The red lip is gonna stay for the day. I think I like it a lot. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Give it a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that very much. Um, and if you haven't already and you would like to stick around, subscribe and get hit the bell for notifications when I post my videos. Um, I'm trying to do two to three videos a week. I do have three kids and I work full time, so bear with me with that, right? <clears throat> um, but yeah, so I guess I'll catch you next time, guys. Love ya.